Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. There's no question that science has gone a long way toward solving some of nature's deepest mysteries. Everything from finding what black holes are made of to why zebras have stripes. But there are still many scientific mysteries yet to be solved. Number 5. Giant Glowing Vortex On December 26, 2011, NASA's Terra satellite passes South Atlantic Ocean and captures something strange. It appears to be a giant whirlpool of glowing blue light. Scientists are perplexed after seeing this image. Even though scientists have seen ocean whirlpools before, they've not seen anything of this magnitude. Who or what is it that could be lighting up the whirlpool's deep blue? No one seems to know for certain. Nobody knows how to explain it. It looks like something out of this world. The whirlpool, or whatever it is, is located 500 miles off the coast of South Africa, and it's huge. Stretching as far as 100 miles, it's the size of an entire state in the United States. Well, that's pretty scary. But it's not just the scale that's astonishing analysts. Why is this thing, whatever it is, glowing blue? There might be a small key to unraveling this mystery. Few researchers think that the vortex has sucked up millions of microorganisms, otherwise known as phytoplankton. Phytoplankton are organisms that emit bright blue light. Everything in these ocean vortexes are trapped, so they're spinning and have millions and billions of gallons of water, plankton, debris, and they're moving across oceans from continent to continent, and nothing gets out. But it's just a theory. No one has seen anything quite like this before. Another hypothesis is that the massive ocean vortex could be a result of a massive earthquake on the ocean floor. To put things into perspective, let's go back in time to March 11, 2001, when a magnitude 9 earthquake took place 43 miles off the coast of Japan. The outcome was a catastrophic tsunami, the biggest ever recorded. Waves that were 130 feet high rocked Japan's mainland accompanied by whirlpools along the coast and fishing boats were sucked into the waves. What's baffling is these whirlpools are considered tiny in comparison to the giant blue monster captured on satellite, yet no tsunamis or earthquakes have been recorded off the coast of South Africa. This blue spiral of light transfixes you. It resembles something you'd see in a sci-fi movie. Analysts have no answers and the facts don't add up. The vortex is too big to be a whirlpool, and there are no unusual weather reports in the region. The blue vortex still remains a mystery. Number 4. The Disappearing Lake Rivers might run, but lakes stay where they are, right? Tell that to Lungarima in Northern Ireland. Sometimes it's there, and sometimes it's not. A few geologists and explorers have attempted to study it, but the deeper they search, the more complex it gets. The lake actually drains itself out to such a degree that passers-by wouldn't be able to tell that there was ever a lake in that very same spot. Where does the water disappear to? No one knows. Paul Wilson, who is a pro in analysis of aerial and ground reconnaissance images, has gone the extra mile to analyze maps from the geology surveys in search of clues. He conducted an experiment to try and follow the trail of the vanishing water. He puts some dye in the Lungarima and it helps him to trace the flow of the water to a dry riverbed. How the water flows from the lake to that point and back is not clear. Analysts started a comparative look of another similar vanishing lake to get some deeper insight. Canada's Medicine Lake is on a limestone landscape called Karst. For this vanishing lake, it's been confirmed that each year water drains through the Karst landscape beneath it through sinkholes that dissolve over time to form a big cave. Indeed, there's limestone in the Lungarima area. It's, however, not that simple in Ireland as it is in Canada. Cars limestone typically have large caverns under the ground, but it's not the case with Lungarima. Adding more to this mystery, the amount of water that's coming out of the river is twice the amount that's actually going in. This mysterious phenomenon still remains a mystery. Number 3. The Mysterious Blood Red Lake Satellites spot a very peculiar red lake in a war zone, Baghdad. Is this evidence of mass slaughter? The distinct red zone in the area is known as Red Lake. The red pigment in the lake is not only in a small section, 
but on the entire lake, it stands out like a sore thumb. CIA operatives who had zoomed into the location confirmed that by 2004, when the picture was taken, things were at their worst. They talk of murder and killings, but blood could be seen in large puddles in the streets as the Allies and Americans put up a fight against the insurgents in Iraq. The image from space leaves a lot to the imagination. The fact that it's spotted in Baghdad makes it hard to offer a logical explanation given the facts at hand. Makes you wonder, if this truly is a lake of blood, what was the extent of the mass killings that took place? The bloody red discovery leaves us with many more unanswered questions than answers. The satellite imaging clearly shows that the blood lake is 500 feet wide and half a mile long. A few calculations come into play with these dimensions, 9 million gallons of blood, meaning it could tally to the blood of 7 million people. Wait, what? Number 2. The Giant Crack on the Earth's Surface A drone was at the right place at the right time and got to witness a major occurrence. On August 16, 2014 in Mexico, the drone spotted a massive crack in the Earth that seemed to have formed overnight from nowhere. The Earth split. According to experts, it was like the Earth had ripped itself apart into two for one reason or another. The crack was 16 feet wide and 25 feet deep, and this breakout had caused chaos on anything that came directly in its path. Farmland was destroyed as well as a link road to a Highway 26 that connects Hermosillo to the larger Mexico area. Geologists find it mind-blowing. The abruptness of the incident causes major concern. The split is clean and the deep incision very precise. Why now? What has changed? The desert landscape offers no explanation nor does topography of the land. It leaves everyone guessing. Engineers speculate that a crack that deep indicates deeper activity and movement happening under the Earth's surface. This would be a real smoking gun for danger ahead. Geologists from the nearby University of Sonora suggested that the crack would have been the result of great amounts of water that were being sucked out of the ground, making the surface crack up. This theory about groundwater being depreciated is a concern shared by many geologists. Suspicions linger that recent agricultural methods of drilling the ground for water could be contributing factors that suck water out of the ground. Yes, in this arid lay of the land, farmers do need a lot of water to irrigate crops. Farmers getting water from underground would be a reason why the tabletop lowered, causing some parts of the ground to crack out. So the questions keep coming. Was the crack as a result of groundwater removed leaving a gaping void? NASA scientists have pointed out that this is not just a problem in Mexico. Loss of groundwater in many other places could cause countless similar cracks across the world. More so, the fact that there was a stream of water found flowing at the bottom of the crack means one thing. Removing any substantial water meant to be underground will cause cracks. If this phenomenon is caused by agriculture, there's no way it's going to stop anytime soon. For now, the crack is only getting wider and wider. Number 1. Glow Beneath the Indian Ocean Somewhere in the Indian Ocean, a satellite spots yet another strange glow that is the size of Connecticut State. It feels like there are hundreds upon hundreds of light bulbs that are submerged under the sea. It's definitely not a man-made glow. It's a spectacular display of nature. When we turn to science, the strongest explanation for this is that the bright light is from bioluminescence that have been unsettled and are awakened. Here's a bit of education. Bioluminescence is the creation of light by biology. Science deduces that many organisms have gone full circle to generate light. They talk of click beetles, glowworms, and fireflies. These creatures use light as a self-preservation mechanism for communication and keeping off predators. Even for such creatures, it's survival of the fittest. Water bodies are home to the largest amount of bioluminescent animals. At this point, marine biologists narrow down to dinoflagellates as the most common animal that can emit such a lighting effect. The best place to spot dinoflagellates is on a ship. If you're keen enough, you can spot them when ferocious waves hit. Alternatively, if you wade your hand in a fast-moving water while on a boat, you also stand a chance of spotting them. Dinoflagellates emit their lights when they're in distress and in cases where a wave is breaking. Their glow is seen off the coast of California and attracts a large number of carefree surfers from across miles. 
chasing the glow. But wait, the Indian Ocean glow captured by the satellite is stationary, and it lights the ocean for days in one spot without any movement whatsoever. It can't be a dinoflagellate then, because they only light up if shaken in the waves or sent some troubling in the waters. Not everything is what it seems. Also, there's a new twist. They seem to be growing in size over time. 24 hours after discovery, the glow is said to have expanded by 900 square miles. Any more explanations? Maybe bacteria, which has been known to give off some little light. For this theory to be feasible, it would take a gazillion of trillion microscopic bacteria to cover such a scope. From up above, the glow is visible for three nights before it disappears. That's just a short list of a few of the phenomena satellite has brought to our attention. Do you know of any more? Leave us a comment below. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment and don't forget to subscribe so you can catch up my next video.